My name is Kostov. I'm the CEO and founder of Efficient Capital Labs. Um, Efficient Capital Labs has been there for 18 months right now and I've been there from the very beginning. ECL, which stands for Efficient Capital Labs, uh, is all about making capital efficient. And we are a revenue-based financing company and what we focus on is software as a service, SaaS companies as we call it, and we upfront their revenue. So it is, and we focus on cross-border, which is also very, very critical and important. Uh, US and South Asia and Southeast Asia are the main markets that we're focusing on right now. And as any revenue-based financing company, what we do is we upfront for their software company, the capital that is there, that is going to help them in their growth, it's going to help them in the GTM, Last, but the most important thing, it's non-dilutive. There's a very interesting story behind it, right? So I spent two months researching about efficient, uh, about like the revenue-based financing and capital availability in South Asia and Southeast Asia. And the epiphany, the realization was when I was in India talking to a lot of these SaaS founders, I realized that in India, South Asia, Southeast Asia, the availability of capital had dramatically changed. What that meant was, uh, there were a lot of VCs that were putting in a lot of money. There was a lot of interest that was there. However, the cost of capital continued to be high uh, in all of these markets, whether it is in India, whether it is in Vietnam, whether it's Indonesia, to some extent Singapore. And the interesting thing was all of these software companies that was having this conversation with, you would ask them, hey, where are you based? Oh, we already have a Delaware C-Corp, or we are based out of Texas, or we have a California C-Corp. But whenever they thought about alternative capital, they always thought local, which is raising money out of India or raising money out of Indonesia and Vietnam, where the cost of capital is much higher. So a simple question when asked to these founders that, hey, what if I gave you the same capital to your US entity? It could be a sub, it could be a parent, it really doesn't matter. All that you have to do is transfer the money and you are better off by 300, 400 basis points. And that was something like a light bulb going up. Say, absolutely, I would take that any day. And that was the bond of efficient capital. The most counterintuitive thing that I learned, not just about founding the company, being a founder, is a little bit different, it's humility, right? So if you look at my background, I was a chief risk officer in Cabbage, chief risk officer in a publicly traded company, chief credit officer. And here I am starting from zero raising capital, talking to VCs, answering question, what is the definition of loss rate? How do you define loss? It was a very humbling experience for me, right? So I would always say humility was the, the number one and very counterintuitive. When I came in, I came in thinking that it is going to be a breeze, not only in terms of doing what I'm doing, but raising capital. But uh, I quickly realized that everything that you have done in the past, what everyone is looking at is what you can start and do in the future. You're starting off from a clean slate and um, that was a humbling experience. So the best piece of advice that I would give to a founder is it is okay to be vulnerable and in certain cases it's okay to fail, right? No one expects us to be a superhuman, right? Um, to make errors is what we call human. It's how quickly you bounce back. So my advice to founders who are coming in would be, don't set a standard for yourself in which if there is a failure, or for that matter, multiple failures, you feel that's doomsday. It's okay to fail. Everyone, no one expects you to be pristine. No one expects you to be 100% perfect. Failure is a part of the journey. The thing is what you learn from that failure, not repeat it. So failure is fine. Again, a great question in terms of startup community, uh, how I leverage. The first thing is I try to be entrenched in different communities that are there, whether it is a community in which I can give back, right? There are a lot of startup communities are there in which I give back. Like for example, given my background, I make introductions uh, that are there. I give advice to certain startup founders uh, that are there. And to some extent, I also invest, right? So it, that's one way. The second way that I do is learn. the certain aspects of uh, startup communities that are there, which I do not know. Like for example, a GTM. I've done risk for 21 years of my life. I've never done sales, I've never done marketing. So talking, socializing, learning from people who have done that for years is another way I keep myself updated. So the, the different startup communities that focuses on certain things. So I try to 
give back to the community as well as learn from the startup communities. The most important thing about Everywhere Ventures was they really made us feel a part of the community, right? Uh, and I can give live examples, right? Whether it is raising funds, whether it is seeking advice for debt facility raise, whether it is seeking advice whom to reach out to, it's a plethora, it's a different gamut. And every time I've reached out to Scott, every time I've reached out to Jenny, like it has been more than what I expected. And, and that has been amazing. I'm a first time founder. I don't pretend that I know everything. Uh, a simple advice like being patient, right? And this was 48 hours back that I got the advice and it's as real, uh, be patient. It's a, it's a very important realization because again, when you're, when you're raising funds, when you're doing something, your time is of essence. But a simple thing for somebody who has done that multiple times, somebody who has seen people do that multiple times, be successful, coming from that person, it helps a lot. So all of these nuggets of information, pieces of advice has been absolutely uh, blissfully helpful. Hi, my name is Kostov. I'm the CEO and founder of Efficient Capital Labs, and I'm proud to be one of the portfolio companies of Everywhere Ventures.